Hey guys, welcome back. It is Jaden at Riverside Mazda, back with another special car. We're here in sunny Riverside, California, and today we're gonna to be checking out the 2022 Mazda 3 Hatch Premium Plus. Let's get into it. What better place to start than the front? And let me tell you this thing looks mean, it looks angry. My personal favorite looking Mazda vehicle in their line currently. So this being a premium plus model, it's coming with the extra few goodies in the front here, where all you're gonna see that it has this gloss black grill trim. That's actually gonna be something you're gonna see on all Mazda 3 hatchbacks. But specific to this, we're gonna get this front splitter right here. And then we can go to the back, we're gonna show you the back wing that's in the back. But this front splitter just goes so nice. I don't even know if you can pick it up, but gosh, it just pops against this new platinum quartz metallic color, by the way, which looks absolutely fantastic. Some smaller features here in the car, kind of going unnoticed. We can see the parking sensors on either side, but there are actually four. Our second ones are gonna be a pair that's gonna be hidden here in this gloss black grill. Can't really see them too much, which is awesome because those things kind of really can break up the lines and the goodness of a good car. But right here in the middle, we're gonna get our Mazda emblem once again, radar cruise control, smart city braking, and smart brake support. Uh, hidden kind of tucked up right underneath the bonnet there you're going to see our front facing camera that's for our 360 view and that's just going to help things look so much clearer when you're trying to do some parallel parking you're getting up on a curb this is your lifesaver right here all right and if we make our way to the side we're going to check out some of these side profiles here all right we're going to start off with the wheels which are really nice and this is just my personal take but i don't know if you guys have seen the mazda rx vision which is their coupe concept from i believe it was 2016 this is gonna have a similar five spoke twin design. I really like the way this looks, adds a nice contrast. I know everybody's doing the black wheels these days, but these are really classy, but not too over the top. As far as the tires go, we're gonna have Bridgestone Terranzas. Mazda loves partnering with Bridgestones. As we see on the MX-5, they do Potenzas. But these we're rocking uh, 215 on the width. We're gonna see a 45 series sidewall, so rather skinny tire. And then we're gonna see an 18 inch wheel. So not too big, not too small, but it fits the proportions of this vehicle nicely all right and then if we move on to the wheels and just go into the side design of the car i'm going to tell you one about my favorite things about mazda vehicles not even the three in general but just mazda's as a brand the body lines i know a lot of these newer cars are trying to use these hard kind of out of place jagged body lines but with mazda what they adapt is that human soul in motion design right so we'll see we do have a body line that kind of comes from right here in the front fender you can see it kind of has a gentle curve right there towards the end you can kind of see it with the reflection of the light here we'll see a high and low right there and it curves down right here and the fenders of course they're going to be paint matched because i don't think the mazda 3 has ever come with plastic but it is a good look right here i just think this is going to be a timeless design all right and moving a little bit more towards the back we're going to check out the rear view which is my favorite now compared to last year there is one small difference not a lot of people are going to pick up on it's going to be this tail light so i don't know if you guys are familiar but last year they used four little dots and now they're using a crosshair style design which i think is pretty cool and i'll go ahead and show you a little later on what these lights look like in motion because they're actually a fading light when you put the signals on i know a lot of the newer cars it's just blink 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 but with these are leds so we do have the fade it looks pretty cool all right and then a few more small design elements that we're going to go over here we're going to see this has the stainless steel bumper trim right here that goes along the whole thing i know this is stainless steel but i believe you can actually get it in gloss black i know it comes standard on the car but as you know that's for another video if we're going down a little bit maz loves the real exhaust because we keep it real with y'all y'all know how it is two and a half inch exhaust outlets on both sides and then at the bottom we're going to have this gloss black trim which is going to break up that platinum quartz looks really good here's our parking sensor one two three and four and hidden nicely under there is going to be our towing cover and if we come up to the top we're going to go ahead and see that second half like i promised you guys of this aero package that comes on the premium plus if we go up here we're going to see this is our base boiler and this is what comes on the premium plus it's an added lip if you look it got a little point up there it does get a little bit more aggressiveness to the look of the vehicle i think it's nothing over the top but it's enough to add some good character to this car also with the design of this we're going to have our shark fin antenna for that serious XM radio we're going to have moonroof here i have it up because i think it looks cool and sporty going along to the side oh by the way we're going to get gloss black door trim we have a front little accent that goes around all the way to the front and we're going to get our glass black front quarter panel this does have the gloss black mirror panels as well. Uh, what you're going to see, there is an LED turn to the 
that goes in there and then is on the corner right here. And then if we look a little bit closer, we're gonna see, we're gonna have our blind spot monitoring little triangle right there with these auto dimming side view mirrors. All right, if we wanna go inside, we're gonna do that via keyless entry because this does have keyless entry here. Go ahead and put my finger on the door and you're gonna see that's gonna unlock it up and we can step inside. So transition, here we are inside the Mazda 3 hatch which is my favorite cabin to be in. This is my favorite car, I don't know, it's kind of close with the Miata, but this one's really nice too. The design of this is looking really upscale. Okay, so we're gonna, once again, on the Premium Plus, get this nice cross-stitch design that goes up and around the steering wheel here. We're gonna have our Mazda emblem right here in the front, and we're gonna have our chrome accent that goes around. We're gonna get a similar gauge style to our CX-5. If we look in the middle here, we're gonna see things like our miles in our bottom left right there, ambient temperature in the bottom right and then we have fuel economy on the right and on the left so that is configurable though if you want to change that to averages or trip b trip a you can do that as well going to the left let's check out some buttons here volume up and down we're going to have our skip track next track and if we go to the right side here we're going to see we have traffic genesis spoke about it a little bit last week but we're going to see speeds of up to 40 miles an hour and under it's going to go ahead and assist you not only with the steering but with the slowing down and the speeding up as well this right here kind of changes your follow distance and this adjusts the speed now if we move to the left side we're going to see some buttons here this is for our active safety we can turn that on and off we're going to have our camera view here we press that button in. let's go over to the gauge that brings up our camera my steering wheel is not straight so the line isn't but we'll see it's got the front display here all right we see the top down 360 bird's eye view right and if i actually press that button again we're gonna get our extra wide angle front view. Once again, 360 top down on the right. One more time actually gives us the sides. So that lets us see what we're going on with the curbs. So we're not getting any curb rash on these nice, beautiful black wheels. With that, if we transition back over here, we're gonna see extra things. Parking sensors, you can toggle that on and off. Traction control. We got seating memory right here for driver one, two, and this is just set. And not a lot of Mazda drivers are gonna see this, but we have a little storage cubby. You can put some coins and things like that into. I guarantee you a lot of people are not gonna notice that, but it's cool to have. As far as the steering wheel, it does move. We're gonna get telescopic, which means in and out and then up and down as well. And then if we move over to the center design here, we're gonna see nice aluminum trim that goes along all the way across from the driver's side to the passenger side, and then alongside the start stop button right here. We're gonna see heated steering wheel, heated seats, front and rear defrosters, and a nice easy to use AC system. I know a lot of times in these cars they're complicated, but not with this one. And then going along, keeping it going, we have our passenger vents, which are integrated quite nicely into the design. We'll see these three little lines horizontal look really cool, along with this upper stitch that is actually a nice soft touch material. And with the stitching that goes along the dash, same thing up here, nice soft touch leather. And I know a lot of the newer manufacturers using a lot of plastic. This is really what separates Mazda from some other brands. And if we continue that alongside the door here, soft touch leather, some more soft touch, up, down, armrest, we'll see. That's got some pretty good travel to it. And along with this and the door handles right here, the only place you're gonna get plastic is gonna be in that lower trim, but that's where you're gonna put your water bottles and stuff like that. So the leather would kind of get messed up. So I can see why they did that. Coming in, bringing it back up, we're gonna have our nice aluminum trim that goes here all the way throughout the door handle, which is really satisfying to pull, by the way. Going to our Bose speaker grill, which looks super premium, and it sounds even better than it looks. Got our door locks here, unlock and lock. Pretty simple to understand and use. Then moving on to the center stack here, gonna be a pretty similar design to the Mazda CX-5, but the layout of the rotary dial is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna have our nav, music, home, and back button kind of placed in different spots, and you got a bigger button right here in the middle. We still have our same small volume adjustment, but once again, that human-centric design just allows me to rest my hand, and it's already right where I need it to be. Transmission-wise, we're using that same six-speed automatic transmission. It's been reliable, it's tested, it's proven, it works. I know a lot of people wanted the manual in this car with the turbo hatchback to compete in the hot hatch segment against the Volkswagen, Golf R, and some other cars to that nature. Things like the Miata, they have it, but they do have the manual option available. It is gonna be in a premium trim though. And of course, since you like to do a little bit spirited driving because we're Mazda owners, we have our sport button here that allows you to flick that up and down. 
very easy to use. In the 2022 Mazda 3, they're not updrafting the MI drive, which is gonna be Mazda intelligence because this doesn't have an off-road mode. This is strictly for the streets. All right, if we go over seating, these actually do have eight-way power driver's seats. The touches aren't aluminum, but you know what? I think that's fine because the dark interior choice for this car is really good. Going over the seats, we're gonna have real genuine leather here with some nice perforation. If I get a zoom in here, we'll actually see on the inside of the holes, they kind of have this almost, I, I call it rust orange to kind of go against the accent trim. We'll see it's the same color as the stitch and what we're gonna see on the dash as well. They're super comfortable, nice seats. They hug you pretty tight as well. And then looking up, we're gonna see our black headliner which is, looks super classy on this. Keeping it moving forward, we're gonna see frameless auto mirror right here. Auto dimming, we're gonna have one, two, and three for home link. And then of course, LED lighting, that's gonna be in the front here that turns it on and it drop down. There it goes for your Mazda sunglasses because we like to look extra sporty when we're driving our sporty sedan. All right, and moving to the back seat, we're gonna check out the space and the amenities back here. We're gonna see knee room. It's okay, we're being honest. It's not the best if you're anybody over five foot 10, but it is doable. Feet room though, you do have a good amount of space. I'm wearing my nice black, not loafers this time, but our wingtips, they look pretty cool. Um, on the doors, same aluminum trim that goes all the way back. Our mirror controls here. But honestly, nothing else besides back. Um, it's pretty basic. You actually don't get vents back here. They're on the floor, which is kind of a bummer for the Mazda 3. But if we drop this down, we're gonna get our armrests with our cup holders in there. And we got on the back side a pocket here you can put some things into. It is felt lined, so your things are gonna stay not scratched and not scuffed up. But overall, back here, the seats are generally pretty comfortable. So if you're going on a road trip, just make sure your friends are little. And once again, of course, we like to do the moonroof view. We're gonna take a look at that. You do have a pretty nice sized moonroof, so you can go stargazing with your buddies. And just for some extra safety things, if you're toting the kids around, we do have our little releases here we can pop off and that'll let you hook up your child seats right there. So that's pretty cool as well. All right, and moving back outside the vehicle, we're gonna take a look at the trunk space here, which we like to do. Um, oh, once again, I promise you guys, you're gonna see that fading turn signal. I know it looks kind of weird because of the frame rate, but trust me, they are dimming and it looks pretty cool. So if we go ahead and open it up, our release is actually hidden clever right here underneath the Mazda emblem there. We're gonna lift that up. We're gonna have our cargo cover right here. It is removable, so if you don't like it, you can just take it off pretty easy and kind of hook in right there. And the trunk space in this is actually pretty decent. Nothing crazy, but you can fit a good amount of stuff in here. If you need some more space, we have releases on either side. One, two. I'll go ahead and put that down just so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna drop the seat here. And we can see it goes and lays pretty much completely flat. I wanna say 95% of the way there for that extra space for whatever you needed to do, skis, you know, lumber, or even fit a 75 inch TV in here. My friend's done it, so I know it's possible. All right, so here we are once again, underneath the hood of the Mazda 3 Turbo. So we're gonna see the same Sky G Turbo that's gonna be in our CX-5, shared across multiple vehicles. It's gonna have our transverse layout here, which means it's going this way versus this way. Got a back mounted turbo here, and this thing is a good engine, man. Not only is it turbo and making good power, 250 to the wheels, 320 pound feet as well, but it's also gonna be efficient with these clocking in around 26 miles per gallon, which is not bad if you ask me. Well, all that's left now is to take this thing for a drive. So I'm gonna show you what it's like to drive the 2022 Mazda 3. All right, guys, and here we are inside of the Mazda 3 hatch, taking it for a quick spin. So right now I have it in its comfiest setting, which is just gonna be normal mode, which is fine for me because this thing rides like a cloud. I mean, when you don't want it to do anything you don't want it to do, it's not gonna do it, you know? So this is actually a really good drive. I like to take it back here because the roads back here are super rough. So you guys are gonna get actually a real feel of what it's like to drive this thing. All right, so right here, I'm gonna take you guys down one of my favorite roads to take my clients. This is a nice little curvy road here. Look at these palm trees, by the way, it's super nice. But we're gonna take you a nice curvy road right here so we can actually kind of get a feel for what the handling is like. I know in this segment, it's more about uh, overall, oh, how good is the fuel economy and things like that. But Mazda, they put a lot of emphasis on their vehicles. Number one being driver experience. As you can tell, the cockpit is very driver oriented because your main focus is driving. So I think 
overall handling in this car is gonna be super nice. It's actually super smooth when you're not in sports mode, but we'll go ahead and flip sports mode on in a second. But overall steering is gonna be pretty firm. Nothing like you're gonna see typically in your regular Mazda 6 or CX-5. Definitely gonna get some more sport tuned out of the steering and overall suspension as well. Another thing that we're gonna notice as well is I'm just driving this thing along pretty normally and it's pretty quiet in here. You see a little bit of road noise because this isn't the best road, but overall it is pretty quiet. So I'm gonna go flick it in a sports mode here. We'll see in the gauge it says sport. And I'll just give it up some. This all wheel drive just eats up these corners effortlessly. Going along with that G vectoring control, it is one of my favorite cars to corner right behind the Miata, of course, but we'll see here. These turns are just like butter. No wheel slip at all. I don't know, most of you guys are gonna be driving like this, so don't tell on me. <laughs> but we're gonna go cruise to these corners here, and it's just so much fun, so easy. And this really does put the emphasis of joy of driving here. And we're gonna come up around a bend here. Got a nice little hairpin. So we're gonna see how it takes this tight corner right here, and we'll see very simply. As you can see here, we got a nice straightaway, so we're gonna go ahead and give it the beans and test out the acceleration. Ready, and We'll see right away, no wheel spin with that all-wheel drive, and it just trucks through gears, and boom, we're at 60. Hey, I don't know about that, but that was seamless delivery. I know it's not quite on par with that Speed 3, but you know what? I'm not mad, because that was probably the most comfortable zero to 60 ride I've ever done. Equally as important as acceleration, we're gonna test out the braking because you're gonna need to slow down if you're speeding up that fast. So I'm only going about 55 here, and then we're gonna try out a full emergency stop in three, two, one. And it slows the vehicle down pretty quickly. All right, guys, this was my comprehensive breakdown on the Mazda 3 hatch. Now, if you like being fast, but you like being comfier while you do it, this might be the vehicle for you. Overall, the handling on this is really nice. It is nice and tight when you need it to be, but the ride quality is equally as smooth because you can't shortcut on that, right? So, overall impressions, great car, would recommend for young, old, or somewhere in between. And if you'd like to see a similar vehicle to this or another video, drop a comment, drop a like, so you, that lets me know what you guys are feeling. All right, hope you guys have a happy Friday or if it's Saturday, depending on when I upload this and a great rest of your weekend.